Let's go! We did it! Another myth busted! It's possible to fucking climb the ladder! <laughs> Let's fucking go! <laughs> you serious? All right, everybody, welcome back to a replay analysis. This time we are here to bust a myth. Udir or Graves? Who's stronger? As you might have known and seen on your favorite YouTuber's channel or streamer, Graves is Omega strong right now. And I'm going to show you why. Also, I'm going to show you why Udir is Omega strong. Because this is a match where I int level 1 because of my Garen and because of the game fucking freezing on me twice in a 2v1 situation where I die, Garen fucking leaves me to die while Graves flashes away Garen runs away I die and I rage quit and I came back a little bit later and by a little bit I mean like right after a loading screen I, I i rage quit hard and i'm gonna show you yeah my game froze i could not i could not fight my game froze again i couldn't fight and i was like oh my god bro what the fuck and garen he has flash he has ignite he does he does not help yeah i was really pissed here i was really pissed i i left straight up like straight up straight up all right, and then we follow the graves a little bit. Uh, actually, let's follow our, our boy Garen. He loses lane. Fun fact, he lets me die at least. No, actually, he gets himself himself killed because uh, he lets Gwen roam ahead of him on me. And I get caught out and he dies because he follows the roam quite a bit after. My mid laner is trash as well. He does some questionable stuff this entire fucking game. And he loses lane to Yone, because Yone. Um, my bot lane? I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to talk about bot lane, okay? Let's not talk about bot lane. I came back. Uh, Graves is 16 CS. I'm 0. Bear in mind, I am extremely behind. I'm gonna be less than half his CS this entire game. Uh, spoilers, this is a game which I have won. And I'm gonna show you how and why. Garen still loses. We are Q-maxing still. This is the Q-max build. And I'm going to show you this build. We'll still be able to pull you a fucking win in a situation like this. He gets Crab. He gets my jungle. I barely finished topside jungle. I'm extremely behind at this point, okay? Yeah, he gets my jungle, he, he gets raptors, he gets red too, if I remember correctly. And I think he also gets out? Question mark? I don't remember. But Zyra catches him on here and he... Yeah. My Zara tries to stop him, he pings, but I'm like, dude, I gotta finish this. I cannot be there level 2 into a level 4 graves like I just die if I go there and good thing I finished because now I'm 3 and now I got turtle yes we go turtle we do, we do not go E I was uh, I was wondering whether to go E or turtle I decided on turtle and for good for good uh, reason we want to tank the hit properly and heal up and we just barely get the kill I don't know what the fuck this Vladimir did here by the way he Flashed and ghosted, steal the kill, and he didn't manage to steal. And he almost died to the Yone. He should have instead killed the Yone, by the way. Because I don't know why he flashed and tried to steal the kill. Instead of killing the Yone flat out. Straight up. Um, My bot lane... I don't know, they're kind of losing. I'm here, meanwhile. Trying to get my level 4. We are still hella behind. By the way, look at the CS. I'm 15 to 33. Uh, we are even in kills right now, though. Which does help quite a bit. Graves is farming, and he's gonna gank mid. 
I attempted bot, they pinged me because they got wards, and I'm gonna run on to mid. Unfortunately, I do not catch Graves. Uh, if I remember correctly, Graves does not see me here, they had no wards, so I go on to Yone. I kill Yone, because there's nothing he can do in this situation. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Yeah. So what I did there was sit on him, because I know he's gonna jump back. I gotta run here and... Garen? See where Garen is? See where Gwen is? Gwen flashes, Garen dies, because he's a complete dumbass. This does not slow, by the way. I don't know why Garen came that late. He should have just sat on lane. At this point, it's better to let your jungler die. But since I'm an Udyr, I don't die at all. And Garen just int. He had flash up, by the way. Uh, let's see. Did he actually have flash up? Oh my god, he has flash up the entire fucking time. And he, did, he did not use it. So right here, what you do as Garen is after you did this, you just flash the wall. Just flash the wall. Flash the wall. You're fucking useless. Just flash the wall. Nah. All right. Times four. We going back. Graves almost catches me, though. But yeah, this Garen is extremely bad. Like, like really, really bad. Now I lose topside jungle, too, because I'm extremely low and I have no top laner to defend the jungle. Yeah, he, Graves just has free roam of my topside jungle because of this Garen at this point. I am 18 to 40 fucking plus CS. I'm two kills into one, though, which does kind of... Eh. Eh. My mid laner is questionably almost winning, but almost is not good enough for me. He's basically losing lane. Luckily, he's a Vladimir, so he just heals the fuck up. Uh, I was running after the Graves here. I was looking for Yone. I did not see Yone there. Only when I came, like, around here. I tried to catch this guy. It did not happen. I'm gonna run towards Raptors, I believe. I I was wondering whether to push his lane or to let him freeze. And I decided to let him freeze. But he decided to let the wave crash into the fucking tower because he's a dumbass. <laughs> He can heal back up, by the way, and he knows Yone is not gonna come back anytime soon. Like, he just only now reaches tower. He could have stayed here for free. And you're a Vladimir, you can heal back up easily. My bot lane, um... Eh? Kinda, kinda winning. Not not too sure, though. I'm just doing the, the shit down here. Just trying to keep my form as high as possible. Just get some income. You still want to rush Triforce, even in this situation. The reason is your Q will still do almost just as much damage as normal. This is why we rush Triforce in any situation, by the way, with this build. Because there's literally nothing, nothing anybody can do in a 1v1 situation. Even this Graves is gonna die. He's extremely ahead right now with his Umbro Glaive, by the way. So he, he decided to go Umbro. I I was trying to kill her, but unfortunately, I think I used my my Awaken on E to make sure I don't get uh, pushed by, by Trash or grabbed. And yeah. It did not happen. The kill did not happen. I did not have enough damage without the Q Awaken. Not yet, anyway. Now we're doing Drake. Graves is double. He's a dual camper right now. Du dual clearing is something Graves can do. He's 69, 26 CS. I'm extremely behind in CS. I'm 50 behind almost. That's more than double. We get Drake. I don't know what's happening on mid, but... They had a ward here I did not even realize. This is why you normally want to check this bush always. And I did not. I went straight... Straight to farm. And Graves was here. And I was like, oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Do I sit on red? I decided to sit on red. Because she dies anyway. I kill Trash instantly. And I go on to this guy. Unfortunately, I die here because I don't know how the fuck he saw me in the bush, but he did. He has no ignite, by the way. He... Did he smite me? Let's see. Do I have smite on me? Yeah, okay. So smite gives him vision in the bush. That lasts for quite a bit. But well, that's how I died. Good to know. 
This is why watching replays and uh, replay analysis is good. So in a situation like this, I died only because of Red Smite giving him vision of me. Otherwise, I would have lived. Because he dashed. He dashed. And he, he can't follow. He has no Q. Q hits the wall. Uh, guy got a kill. My Vlad died on mid. Not ideal. Actually, my Vlad... I think Vlad died on here somewhere. Anyway, uh, we are 3-2, 34 to 76, 3-2, three, 3. three. We are basically behind 40 CS at this point. 42. Uh, actually, if we count the assist, we are only behind 40, I think. Yeah. Anyway, I got topside jungle up, which means we get some income. And the assist and kills give me some income. Any income is good in this situation. Any sort of income. We lose crab again. Like, this is a situation where I'm playing from extremely far behind. Uh, we are only one level behind though, and I know he's on here, and I'm checking. And I see this, I'm like, okay. I ping him, I'm looking at Garen, and I'm like, okay, dude. Fine, I'm gonna clear the ward. Uh, I believe he, he jumps back. Uh, no, he does not. He pushes into this though. And gets vision of me. I was gonna make Harold run over this way, but yeah, unfortunately, if he comes all the way here, he resets, which is bad. So yeah, we go on mid. Trying to catch Graves out. I don't think I managed to kill him though. Oh, never mind. I almost died there. Uh, I don't know what Garen was doing. He was trying to help something. He did not even get the Q. So that was basically a one v one. This happens. Um, Yone died on mid, but this happens, and I believe I die here. But I think. Oh yeah, this Garen has R up, by the way. This air, uh, yeah, this Garen has R up. Had R up the entire fucking time. Yeah, he did not even try the R, the the low HP. Look, look here. Okay, look here. Look here. Hold up, hold up. Let, let's check the HP, okay? So she's less than a thousand, seven hundred ninety. I go in, I hit. She's like half HP. He had E up. I, I, like he does not even try. Also, I don't know about your build. I know Stridebreaker is good, but don't you wanna go Triforce into Gwen? Gwen Graves. Just maybe get Triforce to hit hard? You Q-Max. Triforce hit hard? I know Garen's usually building Stridebreaker. But I feel like Triforce would have maybe been better here. Anyway. Definitely Sheen would have helped him and me kill the Gwen there. But anyway, we got Triforce. My guy is one and a half items. I only got Triforce now. I know he's on here, so I'm trying to I'm trying to look for him. Uh, I believe he kills. Yeah, he does. But we kill him, which I mean, in return is good. He wastes Herald a little bit later. Spawns it somewhere around here for some reason. Uh, Yone dies. Because, yeah, he gets caught out. She dies too, because... Ooh, dear damage. Yeah, we 6-3 at this point. We are still down... 45 CS something. 40. 40 CS exactly right now. But we are 6-3-3. We are up 3 kills. Which basically tells me that I'm... I'm kind of even or ahead at this point. So we are basically a little bit ahead in kills. Look at this. Uh, in gold, I mean. 300 gold ahead as a team overall. Which means I am probably ahead right now. And I noticed the fact that I got 6 kills. Which means I am probably ahead. I can 1v1 Graves any time of the day at this point. Because I, I noticed I 1v1 him twice. One was down here. The other was here. Just now. Um, I decided to stop Harold from destroying tower and I ping Graves because I know he's around here because Drake's spawning He's fighting here. I believe he dies, but I'm not completely sure. I forgot 
I was extremely upset this entire fucking game. I was... At some point, I even muted Garen, both Ping and chat. I was like, nah, I'm done with this guy. I'm done. I'm, I'm gonna mute him because he's probably gonna be toxic. So I'm like, nah, I'm done. I wanted to head into the bush, look for lame gank, but I decided on not doing it because I knew Graves was around here and I catch Graves out. He did. Wanted to go onto the MF. Uh, I popped Awaken on Q. Which could have caught MF out. She could have died. I know Gwen's here, by the way. I saw her before. I still decided to go for Drake because I know I can want to be on the, the, the Gwen. She's Riftmaker, play the Steel Caps with some items almost done with the uh, Nashors. But I know Triforce kills that any time of the day with Q Max. Yeah, we five on Q right now. Three Thermal, which means I can probably tank a Gwen in this situation and I can definitely kill her if I awaken on Q yeah so right now we are only 30 CS behind at this point and we're still up in kills and uh, assist and we are down to deaths because we're killing people this is why we Q max not R max R max in a situation like this will use you will uh, lose you the game you are max on fire, you lose the game here. Straight up. There's no coming back, okay? In a situation like this, you will lose if you are max uh, on fire. Because you got no damage. You cannot fight anybody. But since we are Q maxing and Triforce with PTA, we can 1v1 anybody in the game. I'm a bust 3 mids. Udyr versus Gwen, Udyr versus Graves, and Udyr versus Yone in this one game. Yeah, we won, we won all of them. In a game where I was behind, I rage quit, I died level 1, and I was behind more than half CS. I was down... I don't know, like, I was down like 50 CS at some point. It's 16 minutes, by the way. And a lot of shit has happened this entire game. This is because I want to control the game even when behind. And I am kind of controlling the game even while behind. I got two Drakes, even though he got Herald. Like, who cares? <laughs> Literally. Like, I'm daring CS with my team almost at this point. But I was so upset with this fucking Garen, dude. And even though I did not say anything in chat to the, to the Vlad, but real life I was like, oh my god, what is this guy doing, bro? <laughs> I was molding hard. Fortunately, the Tristana and the Zyra were decent players. That's pretty much all I had this game. I went on this because I wanted to help Vlad. He would have died, by the way. But we catch him out. We blow him the fuck up. And I believe I follow her and kill her too. He incoming Yone flashed on me. Nah, I told him to sit the fuck down. I hit him with the... Here's why you go Triforce. See this? This does no damage, okay? I got 153 AD. Gwen's here, by the way. I try to follow. I, I would have died if I did, by the way. I would have died because I got slowed. And tower would have hit me. Uh, back to this. Stampede, no damage. This, one, uh, 153. I had 153 because of uh, extra damage from Triforce. And the uh, Triforce base. Also, you get 194 additional physical damage because of sp Spellblade passive. Without this, Yone would have not died, okay? You are max, Yone would have lived there. So you can catch people out with every single fucking ability with Triforce. It does not matter if you do no damage on your ability. W catches people out. E catches people out, it does not matter. You got damage because you have basic attack damage, okay? And you have on hit with the Spellblade. Now it's 200. If I get a dead man's, that's another like 90, okay? <laughs> yeah, so we're doing a lot of damage. At some point, if I remember correctly, with dead man's stacked, uh, in one of the games I streamed, by the way, uh, hop on my streams if you want to see me live, uh, I was doing a thousand damage with my E, with dead man's fully charged. A thousand. With fully charged dead man's and E, which does no damage, by the way. This is why we Q-Max. <laughs> this is why we Q-Max. 
We want the overkill damage. Nobody can fucking hold it. Graves included. Yeah. So I'm coming top side because Harold. I know Drake is spawning, but I don't want this Yonate to face roll my Vlad. Garen is top, and I had top side jungle. I believe I Harold here, but I'm not completely sure. I was looking for Yoni because I saw him around here, and I was like, maybe he's trying to catch out Vlad. I see these people mid, and I decided not to go for Harold. Um, I don't remember if I go into them, but I. I feel like Graves chases me here. Yeah, he does. He he tried to chase me a little bit. I saw the ward. He saw that I get... I cut his vision down. And he was like, nah, let's not do this. If I catch somebody out in the bush with Triforce, Thorn Mail, Plated Steel Caps on me, if it's a Graves, and I got six in Q, he gets blown up. It doesn't matter. Who, it, it does not matter. Even if it's a Ramus, by the way. I played Udyr vs. Ramus with Q-Max Triforce Rush. Ramus cannot take the damage. Malphite cannot take the damage. They are uh, known for tanking quite a bit. They get melted. They died. I'm on Drake. We don't care. We want the Drake out of the picture, okay? Get the objective. And now we turn. Why? Because I can. Like, I'm a fucking Udyr. I'm a turn on you. There we go. We got a triple here, by the way. I could have gotten a Quadra, but my guy decided to steal. Zyra stole the Quadra. I followed Yone under tower, and the Zyra stole the fucking kill. I was so upset, dude. I, I pinged. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Come on. Come on. Like, you're stealing my Quadra when I'm still 40 CS behind? Really? Like, I'm 11 kills, but... I have a 700 gold shutdown on me while I'm still 40 CS behind, by the way. I got blown up, but I did enough damage till she gets destroyed as well. Which is why you Q-Max Udyr. On R, she would have lived. Not only would she have lived, but she would have killed both of them as well. She would have gotten a triple off of me dying and off of me having a R max instead of Q. Yes. This is why we Q-Max on Udyr now. Q-Max is back. And I believe still a lot of people do not know that. Everybody maxing Phoenix. No, don't, don't do that. Phoenix is bad, bro. The only... The only reason you would want Phoenix is if you're AP maxing, okay? If you're going with an AP build, full AP build, or full, full AP, full tank, Sunfire build, sure. If you really, really want to do that, but I, I, I don't see any situation where Phoenix is better than Claw. Cryo Phoenix is bad. Let's, just, let's, let's put it that way, okay? Wingborn, Storm Stance, there we go. Storm Stance is bad compared to Q. It was bad before Q got uh, adjusted, before it got the 50 increase in range, and it's still bad now. It's even worse now because Q is just so much better. And you have 20 mana. It's li Riot is literally telling you, max Q on Udyr. It's 20 mana. Level 1, it does not go up in mana. It's level 6, still 20 mana. Your fucking abilities are 45, aside from your Q. This is why you want to Q level 1 or 2. It's 20 mana. Otherwise, you cannot manage mana properly on Udyr. <laughs> Also, the damage and the attack speed is just insanely good. I feel like still a lot of champions do not know how to play Udyr. That's a lot of Udyr main included. A lot of mains included. And they're fucking masters, challengers. I don't even know, grandmasters. They still don't know how to play him. Meanwhile, I'm here stuck. Ugh, cringe. I'm gonna... I'm gonna climb, by the way. Like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna force my way into Diamond by the end of the season. I don't fucking care. I gotta at least hit diamond so I can properly go back into, I mean, uh, platinum, so I can properly go back into diamond next season. Because now I know for a fact Uder is good, Q Max is the way to go. If you want to win games, this is why, by the way, you only use Q, uh, R for the slows. And that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm BMing a little bit. I'm BMing a little bit. I don't care. This is why you W Max, by the way. And this is why you get Triforce. You can tank towers with your tank items. 
and you can eat up towers with your Q. Your oh, there we go. I did not know this was a thing. And your legend alacrity, you eat towers with Q, legend alacrity, and Triforce, Bellblade proc. Okay, you eat towers. You're basically Trondo at this point. <sighs> I feel like he could work on top as well. I, I keep queuing up as jungle top, but I never get top nowadays. I don't know why. Anyway, I don't mind. I'm winning most of my jungle games right now. But that's a plus. I feel like next game I would uh, be up for a promotion into gold too. But I feel like Riot's gonna throw me a bad team again. So I'm gonna have to hard solo carry again to even attempt to climb. It, it's so fucking bad. This is why I hate the current rank system. It used to be so much better. We lose Baron. It does not matter. They get blown up because I, I chunked their HP. It doesn't matter. Like, they just... They focused all on me. Since I got uh, queued by Thresh. But losing Baron here is... I'm like, okay. I feel like it's worth... I, I wish I could see chat. But yeah, I, I said I wish I... I feel like this is worth something like that they got it on yone but it does not matter like we are winning the game right now even if they have baron we have we have soul soon and we are in their base they have baron they gotta force us out of their base with baron if they want to win the game i'm about to come out of base i'm gonna stop yone from pushing into ours uh this is where I 1v1 Yone, by the way. The only way Yone wins this is if he's Omega fed, which he is not. This is where we bust the 1v1 with Yone meet. The only way you lose here is if Yone has this, Infinity Edge, and Guardian Angel, and a Death Dance maybe on top of that. Otherwise, you beat Yone down. He cannot beat you. But I, I've... I've been there, okay? The only way I lost to Yone is when he had those specific items. And my guy is going Bork for some fucking reason. Like, he's delaying his build so much. You want early Infinity Edge. I'm just delaying Graves. He's getting this. I, I, I smite it, by the way. For some reason, it did not go off. I don't know why. I even said it in chat. I was like, oh, wait, what the fuck? How did I not get Drake? Like, Graves was dead. He got Drake with red buff. And I was like, bro, I'm, I, I smite it. What do you mean? Why did my smite not go off? I was confused. Anyway, I was like, anyway, this is fine. <laughs> like, we're winning anyway. Like, these people are fucking clowns. I just... I just won a game while I was down more than half CS. I rage quit. I was down, like, two levels. I had no jungle. No kills. I died. I rage quit level one. Yeah. This is how you win a lost game. With, uh, well, aside from my bot lane, they were, they were bad, okay? Both Garen and Vlad. I hope you guys learned something. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And hop on my streams and Discord channel if you want to know when I stream.